offered by Mr. Gallego of Texas. Page 3, line 5, strike not to exceed. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This amendment is a very simple amendment. It simply strikes three words not to exceed with respect to the, uh, the budget uh, of an office that I consider to be pretty important, and that is the intelligence security and emergency response. As you look through the bill, every single bill, uh, every single part of the office of the secretary has a separate line item. And in looking at the bill, I uh, noticed, for example, that for emergency response and security, we have budgeted a little over $10 million. But on the other hand, we have budgeted about twice as much for the lawyers, for the Office of General Counsel. The lawyers somehow get twice as much as emergency response and security. And frankly, I, uh, as I look at the list and how the, the money is divided, we spend $24 million roughly, so nearly two uh, time, more than two times as much uh, for the Assistant Secretary for Policy. All of that more important than security. And for me, as a member of Congress who represents uh, some 59,000 square miles, including five ports of entry, 800 miles of the Texas border with Mexico, an area, frankly, where we have seen emergencies before, we have seen emergency response before, we have had uh, several uh, instances, and frankly, the Congress is consistently uh, and rightfully concerned with security. It seems to me that we would give the Department of Transportation some additional flexibility. This doesn't raise, per se, their amount of money that's available to them. What it does is give them additional flexibility so that in the event they don't spend the line items from uh, the other uh, uh, items, if they don't spend the money from the Office of Public Affairs or the Office of uh, Government Affairs or the Office of General Counsel, it gives them the ability, the flexibility to spend more money for intelligence, security, and emergency response. And I think if you ask every single individual member of Congress what's more important, the lawyers at the Department of Transportation or emergency response? What's more, impart, what's more important, the lawyers at the Department of Transportation or the Office of Security? All of these kinds of things, especially for a member from the border, I think, are more important. And again, it doesn't cost any more money. It doesn't uh, appropriate any more money, per se. What it does is it gives the agency the ability to move money around, the flexibility to provide additional money should it become necessary. And frankly, one never knows what kind of emergency is going to come up. One never knows what's going to happen, whether it's going to be a natural uh, disaster or a terrorist attack. And it always pays to have the emergency response folks have the level of flexibility that they need in order to understand that regardless of what happens, they have the opportunity to do their jobs and to do their jobs well. Additional budget flexibility in a times of, uh, of limited dollars and limited budgets, additional flexibility, I think, is very key. And so what this amendment would propose to do is simply strike those three words uh, not to exceed, so that there would potentially be an, uh, an opportunity for the Department of Transportation to spend more money on emergency response and security than the $10 million that's allotted for them, or the little over $10 million that's allotted to them for the whole year. And, Mr. Chairman, I'd yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman